to even preach and teach on, to be honest with you. Uh, one of the reasons is because I don't like getting caught up in the hysteria that's in the world today. Um, but I do feel with everything that's going on, with as much, many messages I've received and questions and everything from celebrities and all these different people that are, that are, are teaching and preaching uh, with what's going on, and I'm going to go ahead and call it who's fallen prey to what, I, what is the fear-mongering, fear-mongering of the, the social media, fear-mongering of the mainstream media, and all of this and that. They're, they're falling prey to it. And uh, so I want to I want to preach tonight slash teach this evening on the mark of the beast who where when all right something that we can rock solid uh, sink our teeth in trust the scriptures and know exactly what uh, and when uh, this thing is going to occur and how or how not it's going to affect us um, I know I've I've taught on this I've answered questions on it I've done all this uh, you know many years uh, but I want us to look at this so turn to your Bibles if you will Revelation chapter thirteen. Revelation in chapter 13, we're going to quickly open up with 16 through 18, and uh, we're going to get into our message tonight. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 through 18, uh, the Bible tells us here, it says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six, and we know that to be six, six, six. Father, we pray you bless the message tonight, uh, touch our hearts and our minds, give us clarity of thought and understanding, and Father, help us understand where we are today, and, uh, thank you, and, and let us be thankful for the grace uh, that you have bestowed upon us, Father. Uh, the faith that we have placed in you.